this was a very special place that I found uh, in Widden Deer Park, which is a medieval walled deer park uh, on the opposite bank of the River Teen from Castle Drogo. Um, it's an extraordinary place because there's this formal avenue of magnificent beech trees leading up to, a, to an opening through the, through the wall. And it's absolutely in the middle of nowhere, so it doesn't lead, you know, it's not a, a path or, a, or a, a particular big track leading up to it. But it's, uh, it's almost like the nave of a cathedral. It's a magnificent formal avenue. And the formality of it really enabled me to do something rather larger scale and rather more formal than I'd done with the rest of the work. Um, on the whole, I was trying to make things which you could either notice or not notice, things that, you could, that wouldn't spoil your appreciation of the natural landscape. But in this case, I felt I could do something much more bold. Uh, again, I used the idea of, a, of an indigenous local granite bowl, the cut in half, and uh, worked with this continuous line, uh, sort of meandering um, drawing on each face. But this time, as opposed to uh, the, um, the other one on the river, the um, granite song, I've actually inlaid lead into the design. So it's a, it's a combination of materials that's used a lot locally on Dartmoor. They use lead to grout metal fixings into granite gate posts, and they use lead lettering on granite gravestones very often. And I like the combination of materials very much. Um, I decided I wanted to put that piece there, and rather rashly I made the piece before I'd really worked out how I was going to get it there. Uh, and I wrote in desperation to the fleet air arm, and I was amazed when uh, one day a squaddy sort of turned up in my yard and said, I've got, you've got a couple of rocks need moving. And they flew them over from Castle Drogo car park uh, with a couple of seeking help.